Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to take a piece of cardboard and an Altoids tin and make it into a portable stove you can always carry with you. Alright, thanks for joining me today. Today I'm going to take this Altoids tin and a little bit of cardboard and turn it into a portable heat source, stove, whatever you want. Something you can carry with you in a uh, EDC kit and uh, not even think about it till you need to use it. And it's going to be super light, super easy to do. Basically what you're doing is you're taking some cardboard, which I'm sure at this time of year everybody has a ton of with presents coming in the mail and gifts and all. You slice it up into strips about the height of your box, a little bit below it, so you can get a good start. See how we're a little bit below there and just put it inside kinda like this. Now I already chopped up the strips so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill this up with the strips and they need to get smaller as you progressively go in and then we'll move on to the next step so I'll be right back. Alright so we got the uh, little tin all filled up basically what I did was I just kinda twirled them within one another stuck them in here, wrapped them around as it got smaller you know I'd go inside like that and we're smaller and smaller down with multiple uh, pieces of cardboard. Now the next thing we're going to do with this is we're going to put some wax in here. Not a ton, just enough to make it so that it's an easy light and it will burn for a while. Basically what you're making is a little portable candle that will put off heat and possibly cook things for you or keep you warm in a small little package. So we're going to get that going. Let me drag this over here. I hope this uh, slides in easy enough. There we go. And as you see, I kind of pre-started the candle in there. We're going to fire this up, and I'm going to uh, have it all melted. We're going to come back, and I'm going to show you about how much I'm going to put in there. And we'll give it a burn test. All right, we'll be right back. so we got this melted. Let me uh, use that to show you. Just got the wick in there. And what we're going to do is we're going to pour this into here. Probably not all of that, but I'm not sure, because again, I'm doing this on camera for the first time. So I don't know about how much I'm going to need. And let me find something to hold this with, because that is rather hot. There we go. And we're just going to pour it in a little bit. You can use any kind of candle you want for this. I just happen to have one of these. I've had this candle for, God, what, 15, 20 years. Um, and I have so many emergency candles in my stash. I just decided to do this one up since it wasn't anything really special, just a regular candle. Okay, you see it's kind of sizzling as it's going in there. And it's the same principle as, you know, when you soak a uh, cotton ball with um, petroleum jelly. You're basically making this easy to light. So we're going to let that sit. We're going to let it dry. And I don't want to get wax all over my countertop. And uh, we'll come back in a little bit. All right, we're outside here. We're going to give this a test. Um, I cooled it off in my little garage fridge for a few minutes so the stuff would set up. And we're going to see how it works. Now again, with this I don't have a stand, but you could take two rocks on either side, set up a pot over it. Um, it's pretty simple, you know, it doesn't really have to be all that complicated. You always have a source of heat and fire. So I'm going to try to light this even though it's kind of windy out here today. Ah, I'm going to burn my finger doing it. go and I left that little edge a little high on there <clears throat> so that it would catch you want to leave a little edge somewhere I forgot to mention that before and you see it's starting to go I don't know if you can see that in the camera you probably can um, it's starting to go and we'll just let it uh, catch and see how quickly it catches I'll kind of blow it over a little more but it is starting to catch all the way across and you always want to make sure you put the um, cardboard facing up so those edges are kind of open there and the holes are open so you can pour your wax in and give it a good little uh, a good little packing of wax yeah it's starting to catch a lot quicker than I thought it would and the neat part about this is when you're done you just take the top close it over and out goes the fire and probably what I'm gonna do with this particular one is when I'm done with this today I'm gonna let this burn out and I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna repack it and just keep it in one of my kits for uh, easy heat, easy fire, 
Um, heck, I'm sure with some tinder you could probably even use a, a ferro rod to light this. A little bit of tinder, a little bit of, you know, anything. A little bit of chips of wood in there, a couple sparks. Might even take without tinder. As you can see, you got a good little fire going on there. So, that's the Altoids Tin Portable little fire, little stove, heater, whatever you want to use it for. Um, good use of an Altoids tin. Nice little emergency way to start a fire even when it's really cold. Or uh, you're in a situation where you need to cook something and you don't have a pot with you or, I mean, a, uh, a stove with you. And let's see how this works now when I put this down. Yep. Right out. I'm afraid to touch this because I know it's going to be hot. <laughs> anyway, there you go. It's out that quickly. So anyway, thanks for watching. That's the little uh, survival idea I had for today. And we will talk to you soon.